Okay, so this is going to be a really simple crash course tutorial in the use of Google Reader for keeping track of your really simple syndication or RSS feeds. As you can see, we've got Google Reader pulled up here. It does require that you have a Google account, which is a very easy thing to do if you don't already have one. Simply sign up for one, click on the Reader tab here. You will see we're logged in with our tutorial user account. And currently our reading list is empty as it states here. What we're going to do is simply add a subscription. We're going to go over to the Racket newspaper here. And we're going to go up to the top, click this RSS button. It's a little different depending on the browser you're using, but still similar. You'll usually find an RSS button. You just click that. That simply brings us over to the feed, the RSS feed page for that specific website you are viewing. You'll notice that this is quite literally a really, really simple version of what we just saw. And we're going to copy that URL, bring it back over to Google Reader, click on Add a Subscription, and paste in that feed URL. Once you click Add, that's going to add on each of those articles. So now we have a new subscription. Go on to All Items, and it lists the articles. Now, I've personally read each of these articles already, so it shows up as read. But if we decide that we want to save one of them for later reading, we can click Keep Unread. It will come up on the left-hand side here, almost as if it's an email that has yet to be read. You can go around and surf to each of the portions of Google Reader. Go back, and it's still set here as an unread article. You can take that away. shows as read. Now you'll notice there's a few other things on here, add a star, like, share, share with note, etc. These are, in my opinion, the essence of Google Reader. It makes it very easy to get back to feeds, specific articles, depending on the information that's contained within. If you find an article that you just really like and you want to be able to keep track of it and look at it later, and click add a star, go under start items later on, and you'll notice that that specific article is already there. You can remove the star very simply, so you're never bound to anything here. You can also click like, share. If you have people that are following your profile, you can share this article and other feeds that you're viewing via Google Reader. If we decide that there's something on our subscription list here that we want to be able to call up later on based on a tag just through searching, we can create specific tags for posts for this one. We'll just use SGA. Save that tag. You can edit those later on if you want. But now all we have to do is go on our side here under subscriptions. You'll notice that the tag for SGA is showing up. We can easily find that article or other articles that we have tagged as SGA can also search for SGA and this will search the web for that same content. So let's go back here and currently we have that single feed pulled up. All you have to do is just add more subscriptions to view them. Once you get a larger list of subscriptions you may want to manage each of those possibly renaming them. We can do this uh, SUNY Potsdam newspaper and it simply changes the name of the feed. You can add it to a specific feed folder if you'd like. If you want to unsubscribe, you can do that. But it's the racket, and I'm assuming you're probably going to want to stay subscribed to that. So that, in a nutshell, is a very, very simple crash course on the use of Google Reader and RSS feeds.